wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons, the Transformers, the Transformers, more than meets the eye, the Transformers. Megatron must be stuck, no matter the cost. Welcome back to another Evil Anarchy Convention vlog. Today we're at a very special little convention called TFCon Los Angeles, which is basically just Transformers Con Los Angeles. You can take a wild guess as to why they don't call it Transformers Con. I'm sure Hasbro has a million reasons why they can't call it Transformers Con. But let's get into the convention. So this event is at the Burbank Marriott Hotel slash Convention Center. It's a very small convention center. And here I am picking up my wristband for the day. This was super fast. I didn't get here at the opening hour, so there was no line for me. And actually I had to ask for directions to where to pick up my wristband because there was no line. And I was actually shocked by that. And you know, it had I come here on a different day because this footage is all from Sunday. I had another convention that I had to go out of town for. So I came here on my way back for Sunday. And let me just tell you, this is a Sunday crowd. This is crazy for a Sunday crowd. But I could just imagine this crowd all in line on like Friday or Saturday just trying to get wristbands. I would have, it would have driven me insane. But here we are entering the main exhibit hall. The outside area was mainly kind of like an artist alley area. The inside area is a lot of vendors and the like middle of the like vendor hall, there's like these premium figures here. There's a few booths that are selling premium figures and I don't even know, just all sorts of different premium items in general. This convention had a lot of high ticket items going for very high prices. It's very astonishing to me. Uh, I feel like I've been here for like, you know, Japan World Heroes and uh, I mean, I've been to a whole bunch of different conventions and I don't feel like I've seen a crowd this big, especially for something that's such a niche category. Like, it's such an interesting concept. Like Japan World Heroes, did not do so well when I went. You can check out my vlog for that one as well. It was pretty much a ghost town, given it also rained and it was like a, a earthquake tsunami or whatever, a hurricane warning, I don't remember, something crazy like that. But at the same time, it was just like, wow, it's like such a stark difference for how big this event was compared to that one. I mean, it's just kind of wild to me. And going through these aisles, there's all sorts of different things here to check out. A lot of this is like older toys that are just opened and being resold and just not my kind of stuff in general. Um, I'm not really the biggest Transformers fan. I will say I do like a lot of the Beast Wars stuff and I know a lot of people who collect the Beast Wars stuff. I, you know, I love it. I used to have a whole lot of it when I was younger and uh, they had a lot more than just Transformers here as well. They also had Power Rangers and Gundams and Super Sentai and Kamen Rider and uh, there was just all sorts of different paraphernalia for anything you could think of. This is Anime Coast. They're at a bunch of different conventions. They tend to go around and they usually have like a lot of pretty hard to find stuff, but their prices also can be a little high on some things. It's really random when you go to their booth because sometimes items are like really, really like, you know, it's a bargain. And then other times it's just like they know someone's going to pay like three times the amount just to get this book or something. But this convention had a lot of really cool displays. There's just so much going on. I love all these display cases. I wish I could buy a display case. I want I want a convention just to be able to check out different display cases because IKEA stopped selling DTOFs and my life's not been the same. Because I have one DTOF and I wanted to get another one eventually and I guess I waited too long and now they sell some other cheap knockoffs of it and why well, wouldn't I say cheap but like they're more expensive they're just not as good looking but, but I get I, I'm off the point now more about TFCon here so this is a fascinating event so like I said this is Hyundai and there's just so many people here and it's all ages and everyone here is just totally in the vibe for Transformers it's 
so much bigger than I thought it would be. There was actually so many cosplayers here. Like, I didn't think there was gonna be so many, but like, I, I was really blown away. Um, Zero Three here, I believe actually has an exhibit open in Little Tokyo at the moment, and I'm thinking of going to check it out if I have some time. Uh, maybe I'll be able to do that this weekend, I don't know. As I'm recording this, it's the weekend before Annie Fest, so, and WonderCon. So I'm gonna have videos out for both of those coming out soon. So for this next part of the video, we're going to be checking out the Toyzilla booth here at TFCon. My buddy David used to have a physical store, and I used to do videos at his physical store. He used to have a, a swap meet type thing every, like, once a month at his store, and it was really fun, and I miss it so much. It was so close to my house, so it was such great content to go be able to film it. But he is a big Transformers guy, so we're checking out some of his Transformers merch here. This figure really caught my eye. I love Beast Wars. But this figure, oh my goodness, like, I'm gonna get close in it in a second, but, like, it, it is crazy. Like, look at this. I'm looking back at it, because I was, I couldn't believe what I saw. $950. That's just crazy. But David here is a big Transformers fan, so he's got a lot of Transformers stuff. And we're actually gonna be spinning his wheel of Funko stuff in a second here. This Funko pop swap thing. And then we're gonna be checking out, uh... Another figure opening in a little bit. Got the tour, the grand tour. Okay, hey, what's what's uh, what's special for today? All right, well, we brought new stuff every day. Today, um, oh, up here is the Hazlab Stepsaurus. I just brought that today for the first time. Uh, we also have a lot of third-party sets, like over there's Devastator. Um, inside we have the amazing Bruticus, so just out on display. The the one that's the big guy. Yeah, the really big one. Uh, we've got Masterpiece Transformers here and the black boxes. Uh, we got brought some older uh, reissue Masters of the Universe. I brought my my own Ultra Magnus. Which if it doesn't sell, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Um, yeah, that I have now. Yeah, Masterpiece. Um, this guy is awesome if you want to see another good MP Prime here. Looking pretty hot. Nice. Yes. And, um, yeah, G1 Transformers there. We got Valentinica set up here. Good deal on him. Selling him cheap. <laughs> this show. So we have Optimus Ooh. Prime here. We were hoping Peter Cullen would sign it, but apparently he sold out. Frank Welker's uh, Megatron here. And uh, Dan's. Bubble Bee here, and you can, as always, you can buy them or you can win them here with the mystery game. So, okay, you know, hundred dollar value for ten bucks. So normally, I think Funkos are just a pile of junk. Like they're garbage. Like they're hot garbage. I think, as far as figures go, if you're collecting Funkos, there's something wrong with your life. But if you're gonna get a Funko, you might as well come to Toyzilla because they give you. Funkos with custom illustrations and signatures and then of the signature you can actually get a QR code with a video of it being signed and the artist drawing the artwork on the case itself as well sometimes has a QR code. But let's see what I can win in today's Funko Spinny Wheel. Yeah, yeah, Alright we're about to the Toys Pop Swap Leg and Draw here at the Toys Little booth at TFCon. Pick your four lucky numbers. Um, We've got big numbers like 100 if you want to go big. We've got little numbers like 11. I'll go with 68. 68, 68. Uh, oh, uh, 36. 36. Bum, bum, bum. Three seems good. Oh, yeah, that's a good load number. Um, and then um, this 14 is looking suspicious, so I'll go with that one. Yeah, it might be this. One number disguises another number, so we never know. Yeah, it's a. It's yeah, it, a... Might, it might really be 58. <laughs> no, but people don't like 58, I tell you what. You know why? I don't know, it's just a high ish number. 14 sounds cool. You remember when you were 14 years old and every, life was precious? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What is in box number 14? Could be something, it could be nothing. Hope, hopefully, it's nothing. Could be 58. Okay. <laughs> it could be. Oh, Sally, black light from Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, That's I can't keep cool. that in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. The next one is uh, 36. 
36. So it's good. Oh, Hello Kitty Pop. It's a Puka. Can't say the name. Pachaco. Pachaco. Pachaco is always good. That's a good one. And because this is TFCon, you could trade pops for Transformers if you want. Okay. In Ooh. the bin. Okay. And let's do number three. Come on. Oh, LeBron James. Ooh. Are you going to keep him or trade him? Oh, my God. I want to get away. He's still good, don't worry. Is he worth much? I don't know. I don't know anything about sports. So. Neither do I. I know he's a sports dude. I think it's a ball game he plays with bouncing the ball. All right, in 68. Da -da -da. Whoa! Lucky, lucky, lucky. Go over there, spin that wheel around like 50, 100 times. Okay, Try to let's land do this. on the Magic A. Let's see what you get there. Oh, there's no clicker. Big money, big money. It will still stop eventually. <laughs> <laughs> H. H is good. You got okay. it. You know what you got here? An autographed copy of the first BotCon Transformer comic book Ooh. from 1994. I was four years old. <laughs> Look who did it, though. That guy, David. Ooh. You know him. Yeah. He was your teacher once. Okay. Yeah. And it takes place in 2005 after the first Transformer movie. Okay. And you have to find all the Animaniacs in there because in Warner Brothers characters. <laughs> They're hiding. Congratulations! Yeah, awesome. Alright, so feel free to trade anything you got there for anything in here. Okay, let's see. I mean, technically even the comic you can trade. So. Oh, well I know I, I see something I do want. Oh, um, yes. I'll trade that for Sally here. Sally! Uh, not a big nightmare. Just nightmare Before Christmas, right? Nightmare Before Christmas. Or, or uh, yeah. Princess Bride, I don't know. Um, you got G.I. Joe, Mini Joe. You got ooh. some underoos from. Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> I don't think those are going to fit me. Those are a little small. <laughs> oh, what's this? It's a weapon set. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I think I'll go, I'll go with this as well. Ooh, yeah. And, mmm. LeBron James. Is he getting traded? He gets traded a lot, right? How's it going? Good, how are you? So. Yeah, I'm getting rid of LeBron. Oh, go for it. Yeah, Bacon exclusive. Get LeBron out of here. Oh, right there. So it's four for 40 is the best deal, like he did, because he got four items. Otherwise, you get one for 20, two for 30. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what I want. Nice, nice pile there. Want me yeah. to get you back? Yeah, if you, can, if you have yeah. one. I am super prepared for the show. Like how many bags I got. And the big thank you bags you get at uh, the off-brand Chinese restaurants. But not used, don't worry. <laughs> Smelling like a fortune cookie. Yeah, I can hear you. Can, you can show people what you actually paid. No, oh my goodness. For that one comic. It's a signed BotCon 94 comic. The first BotCon. Cool. Put them all in for you. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's a good deal. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the My Hero stuff is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I think it came back because of that skin in the Fortnite game, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they put that in Fortnite. Same yeah. thing with, uh, I mean, everything's making its way to Fortnite. Yeah. Cool. Get that? Okay, thank you, Debbie. Cool. Thank you. Oh my goodness, guys. We won big with the My Hero at Toyzilla. Be sure to check him out. Link will be down in the video description. So now I'm joining legendary anti-hero here. Open this figure he just bought from the Toyzilla booth. And uh, I'm going to let the camera audio roll for some of this, so let's check it out. All right, we are at the world famous Toyzilla booth here at TFCon, where we have just struck an amazing deal here with Bert to get him this Deathsaurus <laughs> HasLab exclusive. We're about to unbox it right now. Let's see how good it actually is. Mailbox at home, but doesn't really work anymore, so now it's just good for opening stuff. Oh, um, it's like a little box. 
What is, what is this? Is this like the throne thing? Yeah, it's the throne thing. It's awesome. Bigger box, uh, shaking it, getting it to come out. That's gotta be the actual death source right here. I've been eager to get uh, this one since I got my victory saber last year. Oh yeah? Yep. Ooh, nice. That's Nick. Gethsaurus, uh, looks like he's tied up. Some stuff. It's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. So like I said before, I'll link him down in the description below. Be sure to go give him a like and follow, especially if you want to see more TFCon footage. He had a whole video of like the con floor and I know he did like a whole haul review video of all the stuff he bought at TFCon. It looks like he bought a whole bunch of stuff, so go check it out, especially if you want to see more Transformers. He does a lot of Transformers figures reviews and Beyblading, uh, I, would, I don't even know if it's tournaments or just battles, but he does Beyblade reviews as well and lots of figures in general. So go check him out. And uh, yeah, let's get back to unboxing this figure here though, because this is really cool. When, when did this come out? Uh, this? Uh, this came out during the holiday season. So a year after Victory Saber. So is this new? Yeah. Okay. About a few months new. Oh, okay. So this is a hot ticket item. Yep. So we got some nice uh, elbow bends here. Uh, so we got uh, bicep, bicep scroll. Let's go up. Okay. Seems like they go out too. Uh, rotates here. Like, uh, bend about 90 degrees. The knee. Got a ankle pivot. Let's see if we can do some. It looks like he's got up. a bird form. Yeah, ankle pivot and tilt. Whoa. That's some mobility right there. This out. When those become claws? I'm not sure. Looks like they can tilt when you got the heel in the front toe. Oh, it looks very awesome. Comes with the car and a. What is this? I don't know. Is it a boat? I can't tell. Looks like oh, some it's a kind of. Yeah, <laughs> spacecraft. And so we get to throne, so this is a throne for him? Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's like a throne made out of uh, jello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Can you take a photo real quick? You're not going to transform him, are you? Wow. Look at the articulation on the fingers. That's what I was saying. That's pretty crazy. Can I get a photo there real quick? Yeah. Okay, it's not every finger is separate, but. It's nice. So you can't. Give someone the bird. <laughs> Whoa! You want to have the bird give someone the bird? Yeah, he is sort of a bird. Well, no, he's, look, look, he's a bird. He's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is pretty well articulated too, the head on the back. Yeah. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys liked our little journey here to TFCon Los Angeles 2024. This is my first time at TFCon and I don't think it's gonna be my last. This con actually blew me away with how much it had going on for it. All these people here were in line for a panel at the end of the day on Sunday, and it was the biggest panel of the day. So that's why there was so many people here still, which just blows me away that so many people were staying here just for that panel. And given it's such a nice day out and it's so beautiful, and there was a line outside as well, which was just so crazy. Um, and. This event was interesting because it was kind of like a mishmash of like toys and art and uh, figures and resellers and a lot of 3D prints as well. A lot of people were selling 3D prints and stuff of like 
Transformers parts. But as I said, that's going to be it for today. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. And uh, have a good one. Megatron must be stuck, no matter the cost.